was awesome enough to give me such an awesome plan. You cannot, like, come on. Uh, no, my plants. My plants. Oh, look how beautiful this is doing. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Pamela. And on today's video, guess what? I am doing something that's never really happened to me before and I'm here doing all of this in my heart. Enough with the hands. Ha! Kidding. No. Today's video, I am showing you all the plants that I got for my birthday. So this is a birthday plant haul. This video won't be too long, but I am so excited to share the plants that I was gifted. Like, who who gets gifted plants? Like, this girl right here. <laughs> this girl right here. So if you're interested in seeing the goodies that I got for my birthday, then keep on watching. <laughs> So welcome back okay it's been a really long day happy Friday I'm filming this Friday night so happy Friday happy Labor Day weekend to every single one of you all out there whether you celebrate or not it doesn't matter we have in the workforce American workforce a three-day weekend so enjoy your weekend spend time with your loved ones friends and families or just enjoy the time off it doesn't matter so um, I am going to start off with the first plant you guys have already seen it you definitely may or may not have but if you have not oh, let me reintroduce myself allow me to reintroduce myself my name is Hannah hey H to the A N N A H Hannah's my name A I'm an Albo, Montserrat, hey, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> so this is Hannah, I was gifted Hannah by the lovely Hannah, one of my awesome houseplant fam, one of my awesome kooky fam, she gifted me this amazing gift, this like, ugh. I can't even believe that I I own a Albo Monstera so thank you Hannah this is the first plant that I've shared with you all already Hannah again my Albo Monstera the first plant that I received for my birthday so this is so beautiful uh, and she's looking a little swole by the way a little swole in the bellies and the elbow bell is, you see there's a little bump, oh it's, it won't show, but it's a little swollen. So I'm excited to see what Hannah pushes out. So Hannah again lives right here behind me. And I'm, you know, figuring out her needs. So. I'm giving it a routine, a consistent routine, like to follow what I can do for work and I have my grow light because in this corner it doesn't get much light so I have a grow light for the plants in this area. And she's in the soil mix. If you're interested in my potting up video of my Monstera album and the soil mix that I use for this particular plant I will have it linked up here and also in the description box below so moving on to the next few plants that I received for my birthday before I continue this video if you're enjoying this please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any sort of engagement doing with my videos really really helps me especially in this YouTube algorithm you know to let other people see my videos so if you're liking my videos and you want to support my channel engage with your girl and <laughs> let's continue and this is a triad triad whatever's 
Okay, so I'm I'm gonna start off with saying that all three of these plants I received from my cousin Lionel Elwoods. You have, you might have. Let me not automatically assume that you have, but you might have seen my. Oh gosh, I've done a few videos with him. What are the names? I've done the Never Have I Ever Plant Edition with him, and I've done. Oh gosh, a. Men My Broken Plants. It's a mini series. So I'll have that link down below also for anyone who's interested. He's really awesome. So for my birthday, he surprised me and I was not expecting that because I don't know. I I'm not no one gives me plants. If anyone gives me plants or buys me a plant, it's because I've asked them to like, hey, can you buy me this plant? I.e. Lovey. So that's the only person that gets me plants. So Lina went out of his way and got me a plant, so I'm really, well, yes. So the first one, it's not really looking too good. I have not been taking the best care of these plants because this week has been insane. It, I went on vacation. By the time I came back home, it was for, time for work. And all I did was water this and kept it pushing. So I'm going to take this three-day weekend to focus and hone in on my plants and my plant care so the first plant you guys already have seen it but it is this trend and it's the purple wandering dude or lad or lassie okay this is a very controversially named nicknamed plant wandering j-e-w uh, and people don't really want it to be called like that so i'm just gonna be as PC in regards and respectful to certain communities, the Jewish community to be more specific, and call this a wandering dude or transdescantia, which is a mouthful to say, but it's a beautiful name for a beautiful plant. So again, this one's looking a little crispy. It was so, it was so pretty when Lionel gave it to me, but it's not, I think I'm letting it get maybe too dry. So I'm definitely going to water this plant. So this is the number one, the first one that Lionel got me. The second plant, uh, I don't know which one, okay. The second plant is one that I'm very nervous for because this plant is in a particular family of plants that I'm not a fan of, mainly because of their care requirements. My collection although i believe it's pretty large i have a lot of plants i would say my collection has a certain type of plant or a plant with certain types of requirements i don't have plants that require high humidity because i don't want so much humidity in my space most of my plants are in my room in my bedroom and although it's great to have a humid bedroom i have like furniture i have clothing and i don't really want my surfaces to just always be humid and have water you know little droplet res residue so that is why i don't really own plants that require high humidity so with that being said I had the Stromanthi Trio Star. I still have a little bit of it, but I some some things I I can't really push myself to do too much of. And the whole high humidity thing again, it's harder because I have a lot of plants and it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. So Lionel went ahead and gave me something that I'm nervous about. But it's so beautiful. Oh, this is such a beautiful plant. The rattle star, rattlesnake calathea, is this plant. Can you all see? Hopefully, it's focused. Not on me. Again, this also needs to be watered and I'm nervous again because this is the type of plant that wants a certain type of water and I believe it's more filtered water 
because they start browning in the tips and even just by looking at the plant itself that I would receive this has been cut at the tip which I already know it's from browning this part also has been cut at the tip so that's from browning again so this makes me a little nervous it's a beautiful plant and I really hope I can keep it alive and I was telling him when he gave it to me like oh my gosh I love it but I'm so nervous whether or not I can keep this alive because plants like these require certain needs that I don't have the time to provide and that is something I think is really important for plant parents especially new plant parents to understand the type of plant parent they are that's why there is parents who love cacti and succulents and there are parents who love humidity loving plants and there are parents who love you know tropical plants and there you know there's just so many different types of plants that people can own so it's good to figure out what you like so instead of getting things that you will ultimately end up killing stick to what you're able to maintain and just master that type of parenting style so that is your house plant tip of the video rattlesnake calathea and the third plant that lionel picked up for me purchased for me gifted me for my birthday is this beautiful monstera adansoni and this leaf is so gigantic i just want to eat it it looks like such a yummy lettuce leaf, salad leaf, that I just want to go It looks like it's already been bitten into. And there's a new leafy leaf, baby, that's unfurling. This one is unfurling in the home since I've gotten this plant. So I'm really hype about that. So this is one that I'm not nervous about because I already know the care requirements for this plant. So. I have my other one is vining so I think I really want to stick this one up and start training it from now because I can already see the aerial come on some a little bit of like little aerial roots is it showing is it showing right here oh don't mind my fingernails let's use the pinky you see these I want them to stick onto some sort of plank or pole or those type of situations so I want to train this beauty and it might need a new pot let's see let's do root checks also for all of these plants Ooh, not anything sexy this plant can stay inside of this pot for a bit longer <laughs> Okay, next one is these rattlesnake calathea. Let's look at the roots on this. Okay, again, this one I I what I would do for this is just add a tiny bit of soil at the bottom of this, and then just pop this back in here. Honestly, because it's not as root bound as I would prefer my plants to be before I repot anybody got time to just be given a whole bunch of big pots like nobody got space for all that uh, this one might be a little tough one the soil all right this one uh, it doesn't really show but this one has nothing that need like this one can stay in here so I'm not even going to show it this so hard, but I have to keep it in this bucket because I don't want my soil going all over the place. I have it in my, in my bucket. So what I'm going to do now is actually water these thirsty AF plants. I'm going to use my Super Thrive water mixed with liquid dirt. Those two ingredients I use to water my plants every single week. I make sure that they're diluted to the appropriate ratio so I'm one not burning my plants. Even though they're safe and they're not 
burning sort of ingredients it's still good to just lean on the side of caution when using fertilizers for your plants so I'm gonna go ahead and use this water mixture I like to let my plants soak and I like to wa uh, to top water my plants I'm not super crazy about bottom watering I can go into further details about that in another video in like a more specific watering video but I prefer to top water my plants because yeah that's what nature you know that's what happens in nature so go ahead and let your plants absorb some agua so yeah everybody that is the end of the video those are the four plants I was gifted for my birthday for 2020 I am so happy thankful and blessed to have people thinking of me and thinking enough to know what I like and to give me what I like and especially a big shout out to Hannah who knows me through the virtual sphere right and she was awesome enough to give me such an awesome plant you cannot like come on my plants my plants oh look how beautiful this is doing I'm gonna try to add a clip of how far along this plant came look how beautiful it lives inside of this cage and it's just so beautiful Oh. Yeah, this just fell. I have a little one with philodendron. <laughs> so yes, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please let me know by giving a thumbs up and sharing. And thank you for everyone who's gifted me these plants, Hannah and Lionel. Thumbs up for them also. Thumbs up for having awesome people in your life. And don't forget to subscribe. Join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye.